This video serves as a step-by-step -step instruction for each function within the bid notice module. Procuring entity users can have access to create bid notices for the different methods of procurement and upload bid documents including plans and drawings, set up schedule of activities, and submission checklist dash questionnaire as per notice. Depending on the mode of procurement, procuring entity users can invite merchants to participate on the procurement process. They can save draft notices, fail the posted notices. Procuring entity users by issuing bid supplement can update bidding documents, postpone date slash time in schedule of activities. The module includes the review and approval process for bid notice, bid supplement, failing of bid notices. This video, we will be focusing on the following processes. Creation of bid notice for goods. Approval of bid notice. To proceed, Make sure that your procuring entity organization has already created the necessary purchase request record. If you have not, you may refer to our previous video on the purchase request module. Now on our first topic on creating a bid notice for goods. After entering the system as a bid notice creator, click on the menu on the top left corner of the page. Select on the Bid Notice menu and next select the Create Bid Notice sub-menu. After the system loads the page, you will be presented with a list of approved purchase requests. Search the necessary purchase requests from the list. Make sure that the status is available. If the status is in use, then there is already a bid notice associated with the PR. The relationship of the PR to a bid notice is one purchase request and one bid notice. A purchase request can be reused if the link bid notice has failed or been deleted. To check the correct PR, click on the Actions column and select the View PR option. The system pops up a window of the full details of the PR. Once done verifying, close pop-up window, then select the Create Notice option. Now the system will direct us to the step 1 of the bid notice creation process. We now have to fill in the necessary details. Notice reference number is system generated. Control number is Notice title is auto-populated from the selected PR but can still be edited. Next, select notice type from the available values in the drop-down. The values can be invitation to bid, request for proposal, request for quotation, request for expression of interest, notice for negotiated procurement. The following fields are auto-populated from the PR. Project name, business category, period of contract, the delivery slash project location, procurement program slash project, mode of procurement, source of fund, and total estimated budget. Next, fill in the description of the bid notice. After the description, we can see other fields with data from PR. Next, we need to specify if the bidding requires bid document fees and the cost amount for the documents. Select if bid security payment is required in participation. Next, input the bid validity in days. Lastly, Upload the necessary bid documents and supporting documents. Upload on multiple documents can be done on this field.
Now click on Save and Continue. Quickly continue on Step 2 and 3 since these are not available for manual bid submission as these are the technical and financial bid forms which the system uses for online bid submission. Now in Step 4 tab, we will be given the option to invite merchants and observers to the bid notice. For public bidding mode of procurement, we can skip the Select Merchant step for now. It is mandatory in the current step to select at least one observer in order to proceed to the next step. To invite the observers, click on Select Observer button. Then the system will redirect you to the Search and Select Observer page. Here. We can either input the organization ID or organization name of the observer. After the results are displayed, go to the action column of the specific observer and options will be given to view the observer profile or add the observer. We now select the option to add the observer. After the system process the adding of the merchant, that record will now be seen at the bottom section of Select the Observers. We also have the option here to remove previous selections by clicking on Remove. After adding the needed invitations, we can now click back to Step Invitations. Back to Step 4. Now click on Save and Continue. Step 5. On this step, we'll now be providing the schedule of activities of the bid notice. The first input is the pre-bid meeting. We can select either online, offline, or not required. Online and offline selections will require additional inputs for pre-bid venue, pre-bid meeting, start date and time. Providing the input on bid notice published date and time will auto-populate the default minimum dates for bid submission deadline and bid opening start date and time. The auto-populated dates are still editable for adjustments. For now, we have finalized our bid notice. Then we can select the bid notice approver. The system will now prompt for the selection of approver by showing our procuring entities users with bid notice approver access rights. Select the appointed user and click Save button. Click on Send for Approval button and confirm yes on the prompt message. System will now save the bid notice and the status is pending for approval. This section of the video is an approval of bid notice. First log into the system using an agency user with bid notice approver access rights. After login, under the Pending task, there will be a link to the bid notice pending for approval. Click on the link. Once the system loads the Pending Bid Notice page, locate the bid notice to approve. Under the Bid Notice record, click on the Action column and we'll have the options View Comments and View Bid Notice for Approval. Click on View Bid Notice for Approval and system will redirect to the View and Approval page. Review the details recorded on the steps of bid notice. The general details with the line items from the purchase request details. Bid document and supporting documents provided, the files can be downloaded and reviewed using the link of the uploaded files. Next, we have the sections of the invited merchants and observers. Finally, the section on bid notice schedule. If any changes are required from the bid notice creator, then provide the comments of the review and click on the send back button. For now, we click on the Approve and Publish button, then confirm Yes on the prompt message. The system will now update the status of the bid notice to approve state 
and redirect back to the pending bid notice page for other approval.